Hello, good afternoon, and you're all very welcome to Latin. It's day three of the Tipperary Ladies Football Adult Finals, and the game here now, the first game, the intermediate final, it's Galti Rovers versus Ard Finnan. Uh, this broadcast brought to you in association with Police and Concrete in Donohill. And we're just going to take a run down through the teams. We're going to start with Galti. There's changes to the teams that are on your screen. Um, in goal, Megan Tynan, uh, full back line is Neve Roach, Ruth Ronan, and Emer Gleeson. Emer Gleeson will be winner number 16. Uh, Aoife Flynn, Katie Cork, and Megan Heffernan make up the half back line. Kay Flannery and Ava Gason Malai are in the centre of the field. Fiona Tui, Emer McCarthy, and Roshin Fanan are uh, the half forward line. And number 18, Caitlin Underwear, will be taking Evelyn Gason Malai's place. And 14, Alison Lonergan. And number 15, Ada Carroll. Uh, that makes up the Galtee Rovers team. And uh, our Finnan team, there's one change in this as well. In goal, Amory Jones, Ava Lambert, Laura Nagel will captain the team, and Yvonne Clancy are the full back line. Emer O'Connor, Sarah English, and Kira Nagel. Samantha Lambert and Claire English, the middle of the field. Claire O'Brien, Aoife O'Shaughnessy, and Neva Farrell. Laura Dillon, fresh from her 2 8 in the semi final. Neve Boyle and Cathy Ryan will be starting in the other corner in place of Alice Tobin. So that's the two teams that are both going through the final preparations there at the moment. Um, our Finn, of course, overcame Kappa White in their semi final. 5-12 to 3-10 where uh, Galtee Rovers they were very impressive in their semi-final defeat in Borlaan uh, the scoreline kind of flattered Borlaan they got a few less scores in that game but both teams going through a fairly strenuous warm-up there and both ready to go good crowd building up here as well the first two games with the senior final at half two between Brown Blues and Ahalo. And uh, just to take a look there um, as well. I want to say hello to uh, Antoinette Nagel and uh, everybody in the Keol and Crack pub in Lanzarote that are tuning in. You're all very welcome. And I've been told that in the Prince Albert in Witham, there's plenty of Celtic Rovers supporters there today. So welcome you all. Hopefully, you enjoy a great game of football. Peter Creedon down and uh, they're coming in, the new Tipperary manager, no doubt sourcing new talent. He's been at nearly every game since he's taken over, the, every game possible, every time we turn our shoulder and he seems to be there, which is great to see. So uh, showing great interest here. Uh, wish him the best of luck going forward in 2022. Mike Duffy will referee this game today. This is Paul Crew, one of his linesmen out there.
referee Mike Duffy just calling in Ada Carroll and Lauren Egg and referee Toss. See what way this goes. There's little or no breeze here. So it shouldn't make much of a bearing on the game. Well, having said that, there is a bit of a breeze over the far side. Uh, flags at this side are fairly still. And Art Finnan have won the toss, and they're going to be playing from left to right in the opening half. Be ready to go in a minute. Gatley, of course, lost back to his final against Carlos Sarsi. We'll be hoping to go one better. Art Finnan, who won last year's Jim Mayer final against Manchester United, we've been looking to make the leap to senior ranks for Finnan moving into their positions and Galtier just slowly coming out here. That 2021 20, intermediate final is underway straight away. Eco shocking to come forward for Air Finland. Laying enough there to Claire English, or Sarah English, sorry. Gives it off to Claire English, gives it outside there to Cathy Ryan. Ryan gives it back to Claire English, and Cathy Ryan has it again, and Cathy Ryan puts it over the bar. It's the open score of the game. Inside 20 seconds and a good start for Ard Finnan. Megan Tyne tests the kick out, gives it down the far side of the field. Neva Farrell is coming onto it, but she couldn't collect it. Ball back here with Ava Gason Malai. Letting it off to Eamon McCarthy. McCarthy gives it back to Ava Gason Malai again, and to Ida Carroll. Harren was fouled and Mike Duffy gives the free. First free of the game. Taken quickly in towards Alison Lanagan. She got in front of Laura Nagel and she won the free. Eva Carroll is making a short run and she gets it. Carroll going forward. She's still going. 
And he's a kind of a full goal. Gets in the fist. Oh, the ball ends up in the net, but it's no goal. No goal. She's trying to put it over the bar. Ball dropped in over Emery Jones' head. But I think the referee was playing an advantage anyway. It's going to be a free in. Ida Carr getting off to a good start. Scored six points from play in the semi final. Alison Lanner can know with a chance for living it up. Lonergan kicks and Lonergan puts it over the bar. Sides are level. Two minutes on the clock. Emery Jones takes the kick out down this side. He moves it far. Farron tries to get it into the middle, but it's intercepted by Eva McCarthy. Carty still going forward, lets it off to Kate Flannery, on to Kate and Wire. but the wire kicks and the wire puts it over the bar. Dempsey hit the front for the first time. And Marie Jones goes down this side again with the kick out, but well taken by Ava Giss in the life for Galpi. Throws it over the far side towards Ida Carroll. Carroll is tied here now to pick her options. Eamon McCarthy has made a run and she's given it to him. McCarthy gives it back to Ida Carroll again. Carroll kicking it to pass the first one. There's danger, but Emery Jones got it out. It's still there. There's a chance. The ball is in the net. Fiona Tootie, who put the ball in. Galpy lead by four. One two to a point. Kick out taking the on the far side. Sarah English coming forward. Still going. Sarah English was loose in the middle of the field and she was spotted. Inside. Oh, there's a goal chance here. All oh, good hand in there from Emer Gleeson. And the ball goes wide from Cathy Ryan. There was a chance there, but I think it was Emer Gleeson who got the hand in, prevented it. Megan Payne takes the kick out down the first side towards Ava Guess in the line. Under pressure there from Sarah Inglis, and English has it. Gives it back to Yvonne Clancy into the middle there to Sarah English and to Samantha Lambert. Lambert gives it to Laura Dillon and the motor in here and Lambert has it again. Lambert, she's been held up, tries to get it off with her left foot. She has it back, gives it back to Laura Dillon. Dillon goes low, but Megan Tynan is safe as a house in the goal. Gets it out. Ball breaks loose and it's Eamon McCarthy coming deep again. Puts it down towards Ida Carroll. Carroll has been isolated inside. But gives a good ball there towards Fiona Tootie. Tootie gives it off to Ida Carroll. Back to Tootie again. She's coming forward. Gives it off to Alison Lonergan. Lonergan, the ball is going to drop wide. She's never going to hold it. Galpi are starting the same way as they did in the semi final. Good running off the ball. And it's going to have to get a hold of this. Kick out taken the first side towards Lauren Avery, but it's out over the line. It's a line ball for Galpi Rovers. Kick taken quickly to Eamon McCarthy. There's a good run gone inside by Roshi Finan. If Finan has it, Finan kicks, but it goes wide. We found Clancy coming well there, holding her up. It's Fernanda, she had to get in place, she was in for a goal. Yeah. Emery Jones going to start this time to Samantha Landers, but Ada Carroll got in and intercepted. But the referee is giving a few fouls. Carroll not to connect with Samantha Landers back or something, but that's what it seems to be given for. 
free is taken, but Fiona too he has it back to Gelfi Rosen. Goes down towards Eamon McCarthy. McCarthy puts it in on the square and just tries to get him with the wire. Uh, the good defending from Nathan Lambert. Stafford couldn't carry him that shot. Clearance comes out to Eva Grace and Malaybo. He's going to be to the centre, rushing for now. Fernand gives it over the far side to Fiona Tilton. Um, good hand in there from Neva Farrell. Ball is on the ground, but Farrell was trying to come out with it. He was reaching the third team. David Gess in the line has it. Gives it off to Fiona Tilton. Back to Gess in the line. Lost it. Lauren Irving comes on and she leaves the three. Takes it quickly. And so English. She's trying in the space here. If she stays going. She has E4 shot and see. She gives it to her. Back to English. English onto Laura Dillon. Dillon's first chance and Dillon puts it over the bar. Give Laura Dillon half a chance and she's going to pull it over the bar all day long. One, two to two points. Kick out taken there to Katie Cork. Cork trying to bounce it on the ground, but she's fouled. Kick given out to the far side. And Megan Heffernan coming forward. Facing Laura Dillon. Dillon is putting her back and Duffy gives the free. Eva Carroll takes it quickly. Roshi Fernand giving it off to uh, Kate Flannery. Flannery back to Ian McCarthy. McCarthy getting bottled off and Samantha Lambert has it, but Mike Duffy gives it free. Kimberly against Kieran Edge, pulling back the arm. And Alison Leonard going to have a chance here now. Open up a four point lead again. He's already kicked one. Runners and kicked. But that's gone away for the left and wide. Let off there for our finish. And Ray Jones goes short this time to Samantha Lambert. Ball is skidding away from him. She's trying to knock it away. Mercy Shannon is putting the pressure on him. They end up on the ground, but Lambert has to throw. Michael Lambert gives it down to the car of Brown. The Brown taking on Ian McLeish and goes low towards Patty Ryan. Lee Ross gets the foot in and Kate Flannery is fouled. Flannery gives it towards Eda Carroll. Carroll coming forward. Caitlin McGuire has made a good run down into Varney and she has it. Eda Carroll continues her run. Carroll kicks. And it's pulled back off the upright. And Carroll O'Brien is there to pick it up to now Finney. Gives it off there to Sir English. English is dispossessed by Caitlin with the wire. With the wire trying to get it across, but Laura Nervin should pick this up. Nervin gives it off to Yvonne Clancy. And Samantha Lambert coming forward now. Under pressure from Fiona Tooty, but Lambert has the three. Taking shot to Sarah English. English comes forward because she's intercepted and Clancy has it back. If you want to, you know, she has space in front of her. She's going through. Alison Lonergan is to her left. She's going herself. Lonergan has it now. Lonergan, the ball is in the net. It's another goal. And it's Alison Lonergan. So good work in the middle of the field where the ball was dispossessed. Fiona Tuhi went straight to defend. 
and Kevin off the line again and it's two two to two points. Eleven and a half gone. Kick goes out this side towards me the far. It's gonna run it over guess I'm alive. Samantha Lambert coming forward now. Putting it down to me file. Find find an for a shot to see and Nora Dillon trying to go off on a run but she's been held up by Megan Heffernan. Well as with Clara English, English is gonna have a pop, but that's gone wide, it's the second wide for Nara Dillon. Megan Payne takes the kick out at this side and Ian Gleeson has it. Gleeson gets it off into the centre there to Ava Grace and Malai. Malai going down low to Isaiah Carroll again. Carroll has it. Into Kate Flannery. Flannery, she brought herself here. Oh, it's opened up for Ava Carroll. Carroll with the shot, it came off the crossbar. And it's a third goal for Galti. Super work there. And all of a shot, Galtier with a nine point lead. And I think we need to get a grip to this game fairly quick. And Ray Jones goes over the far side towards Ian O'Connor. O'Connor giving it off to Neva Farrell. Farrell is fouled. Gives it quick towards Samantha Lambert. Lambert in the centre of the field coming forward. She's still going. She's under pressure. But she's won the free. Free given over to Cathy Ryan. Gives it in to Clara O'Brien. Back to Laura Dillon. Dillon being held up. Laura Dillon wins the free. She takes it quickly. Puts it in around the house. Oh, it's well taken. And there's a chance, and if a shot and see was fouled, well, Laura Dillon is running up. She'll never do what she done in the semi final, will she? She was half thinking about drilling it, and she drilled it over the bar. I think she was going on her mind for a minute, but Mike Duffy called her back to take the free from the original position. Payne and takes the kick out and there's a push in the back there on Clara English. Kick is taken over towards Nora Dillon in the centre. Dillon gives it back to Clara O'Brien. Back to Laura Dillon again. It's Samantha Lambert. Back to O'Brien again. Off to Neve Bryan. And Laura Dillon. Gantry have plenty of players back. The referee's given a free out. It's a free out for Barrett and uh, Laura Dillon took a knock to the face. And he's going to pass for the water break. But it's 3 2 to 3 points at the moment. The 3 ones for. Ganty, Caitlin O'Dwyer, Fiona Pooty and Anderson Lanagan. And our Finn is slowly coming back into it, but they're going to have to try and eat into this lead after the water break.
Keltier back out in the field. Just waiting on uh, Finn in there. Stephen O'Brien is still giving him a few words. They're back out. And we're going to resume with a free just outside the D and the, for Galti in their own half. Giving short there to Neve Roach. Gives it up the far side of the field there to Katie Kerr. It's Ethan Flynn over there, that's who it is. Gives it on now to Katie Kerr. Ian McCarthy coming forward. Caitlin McGuire has made a run and McGuire has it. Caitlin McGuire kicked in. And that's gone over the bar. <laughs> Caitlin with the way of second score. <laughs> Kick will go at the far side. David Lambert giving it off there to Kieran Egg or to Lauren Egg. The free has the arm up, but she gives a great ball into Clara English. English going forward. Neva Bile is inside. Bile kicking and Neva Bile puts it over the bar. Kick taken short. That's Ava Guess in the line coming forward now. Give it enough there to Kay Flannery. Flannery giving it off to Russian Finan. Finan is looking for options now. She decides to take on Yvonne Clancy. She's still going. Ida Carroll has made a run inside her, but she's been held up there by Laura Nagel. Finan still has it. Referee still has the arm up and he's going to come back to the original free. to Ada Carroll. Carroll giving it off inside. And she's continuing to run, but Emo kind of got a hand in there and got back with Emo McCarthy. McCarthy trying to make an angle for herself. Good pressure from Kieran Nagel. Good ball and goes in. And it's Emo O'Connor that gives it out, and O'Connor has it again. And Ava Lambert coming out with it. Gives it off to Samantha Lambert, and Emo O'Connor had continued to run. Gets the kick away towards Clara English. She's under pressure from Kate Flannery. Cleveland end up in the ground. And the referee's given a free for Galti. Don't know about that one. We'll continue on with the play. Ava Grace on the line coming forward. Mike Duffy has the arm out again. Kick is taken and Samantha Lambert tried to get in and intercepted, but Ian McCarthy managed to flick it away. And McCarthy gives it on to Kate Flannery. Flannery coming forward. Flannery is fouled by Kieran Nagel. Anderson Manor the moment free. On the corner of the D. Kicking. That's gone away wide again. Four wide for Galti. And we're going to take the kick out there to Yvonne Clancy. Clancy gives it into the centre there to Clara English. English has room if she can get away. Aoife Tynan is closing there, but she's still going. Tries to let her off inside, but it's intercepted, and Ava Guess in the line will come away with it. On to Kate Flannery. Katie Cork coming forward. 
Rossi is going to be McCarthy and clear from side. Oh, Rossi from Fanan has it. It's Fanan. Fanan has put it in the net. And it's a fourth goal for Chelsea Rovers. Get in and flick it past Dan Marie Jones. Followed it up and put it in with the left foot. And it's 4 3 to 4 points. Kick is taken the far side of the field towards David Lambert. Lambert under pressure from Eli Carroll. Gives it back to Nico Farrell. Farrell gives it off to Samantha Lambert. Lambert is fouled. Kick taken to Laura Dillon under pressure from Megan Heffern and she was fouled. Kick taken and Lambert has it back again. Gives it off to Aoife O'Shaughnessy and to Laura Dillon. Dillon being closed down, managed to give it off to Clara Ingles. And Catty Ryan giving it down to Neil Boyle. Laura Dillon. Dillon is fouled. Neil Roach has gone down there, holding her face. Is going to talk to Laura Dillon here, and it's a yellow card. And it's a, it's in, she seemed to swing back. I'm not sure now, to be honest with you. Our Finnan are going to play the rest of this half with 14 players. Aoife Finn coming forward, and she's fouled. Kick taken quickly uh, and it's Fiona Kate to Kate Flannery. Flannery gives it off there to Ada Carroll. Gets in the kick and Ada Carroll has put it over the bar. Ada Carroll has helped herself to go on the point now. Out there and well taken there by Sarah English. English has been fouled, but she gets away from there to from Malay. And now she needs support. She's no Laura Dillon up there, so she goes herself. Gets it off to Aoife O'Shaughnessy. and see the ball didn't go to the hand. And Aoife Flynn is there to pick it up. Flynn still coming forward, but she took too much out of it. She took it's like Aaron Flynn and free. Kick taken to Samantha Lambert and the shot she has it again. She ends up on the ground and Aoife Flynn fouls her for a second time. And Flynn have no choice to go short, there's nobody inside. Kick is taken over to Yvonne Clancy. Clancy is fouled again. This is Samantha Lambert. Giving it off to Cathy Ryan and Lambert has it again. Lambert puts the head down, tries to go forward, kicks it off the left foot. And she puts it over the bar. Super score by Samantha Lambert. Kick taken short there to Megan Huffman. Katie Cork giving it off to Ian McCarthy. And to Ian Bruce. Gleason been chased down by Clara O'Brien and now she's given it off to Fiona Tootie. Back to Ian McCarthy. McCarthy is back to Ian Gleason. Fiona Tootie is loose. Oh, 
you see McCarthy, McCarthy kicks, but that's going to go over and you know, wide. It's a fifth wide for Scanty Rovers. Clara O'Brien seems to have picked up a knock there for Arsene. Brain is back on her feet. Walking gently away. Seems to time to carry on. And Mary Jones is going to take the kick off. Gives a shot to Sarah English. And English is going to move forward onto Laura Nagel to Samantha Lambert. Lambert, she's been fouled. And the referee is going to talk to Caitlin at the wire, and this could be another yellow card. No, oh, it's the only gives a tick. She got away with one there, I think. Kick taken in, and it's Clara Brain coming forward. Goes low down towards Caddy Ryan. Ryan has been held up, and it's a free in. Kick taken out to Clara O'Brien. Seems to be back to full fitness. On to Samantha Lambert. Lambert under pressure from Emma McCarthy. McCarthy had to let her go. And oh, good hands in there again from Aoife Flynn. And Aoife Shotnessy is fouled. Go, takes a quick one. And kick comes in from Clara English. And Clara English puts it over the bar. 4-4 four, four to 6 points now. 27 minutes gone. Kick taken out to Aoife Flynn. Gives it on to Katie Cork. And Flynn comes forward. Flynn gives it across there to Eamon McCarthy. She's under pressure from Samantha Lambert. And Laura Nagel comes forward. But Nagel gives it back to Samantha Lambert. Kira Nagel has made a run there. And Nagel coming forward. Emer O'Connor is loose on this side of the field, but O'Connor decided to step back and mind the house. As Art Finnan go forward and is given out to Aoife O'Shaughnessy over in the far corner. Good defending by Eamon O'Carter, by Fiona Tootie, but ball comes out to Claire English. English gives it into the centre and Samantha Lambert. Lambert kicking. The ball's going to drop short. That's knocked across and there's a goal chance. Oh, the, the ball is in the net. It's Neve Boyle. It's Neve, it's Neve Boyle that has the goal. A big speculative ball in from Samantha Lambert. Boyle knocked it back to Catty Ryan and Catty Ryan gave it back to Boyle and Art Finnan are back in the game. Megan Heffernan coming forward. Galtie looked to respond quickly. Eamon McCarthy putting it over the far side and it's Ida Carroll. Carroll gives it off there to Kate Flannery. Roshan Fanan. Fanan is still going forward and Fanan kicks it and it's gone over the bar. It's a good score by Roshan Fanan. Point to our earlier goal. Kick is taken short there to Sarah English. Oh, 
and the still coming forward. The last point to the central gate for Ava Lambert. On to Laura Nagel. Nagel seems to have moved from her full back position. Claire English with a good ball down towards Cathy Ryan, but good defending by Neve Roach. And Roach comes forward. Giving it up to Caitlin on the wire. Picked up again by Sarah English, back to Laura Nagel. On to Samantha Lambert. Lambert has gives it back. That's Kira Nagel. Off to Neve O'Farrell. O'Farrell. She was fouled. But Galtier or Crowden aren't thinning out when they do get the ball. It's They've only three players in the Arfin and half when they don't have possession, so Arfin and have been made work for it. And here's Laura Nagel coming forward. Gives it on. Kick comes in from Claire in English. But the ball went wide, but I think that he was playing advantage. It's going to be a free in. Mantle Lambert is going to kick it. The ball is going to drop short. Oh, the ball's in the net. It's his second goal. Ball drops short. And it is... To see for a shot in the sea, but no, it's no goal. She was in the square. And it's half time. Half time here in Latin. And... A goal there would have really brought Aaron Finnan back into it, but 4-5 to 1-6 in favour of Galtier Rovers. The goal's coming from Fiona Tuti, Alison Lonergan, Ida Carroll and Roshan Fanan. Um, Caitlin with the wire in the corner, it's been very impressive, two points in play. And just a couple of minutes before half-time, Neve Boyle got a goal back for Aaron Finnan to try and get him back into the game. And Laura Dillon will be in the it's been for another minute or two, maybe, at the start of the second half for our film. But at half time here, it's in the 2021 Tipperary Lady Football Intermediate County Final. It's Galtier Rovers 4 5, our film 1 6. Join us again after the break.
Welcome back to Latin for the start of the second half of 2021 Tipperary Ladies Football County Intermediate Final. County Rovers leading by 4 5 to 1 6. Laura Finnan is back in the field. So, Art Finnan back up to the full complement. And today's broadcast, of course, brought to you in association with Police and Concrete of Donohue. Thanks to them for their support. And we're on the way again. Clara English coming forward for our Finnan. Gives it off there to Neve Boyle. English has continued to run. And Clara English has it. Gives it inside. All ball is up on the ground. And it's Neve Roach that comes out with it. Takes the free quickly. Gives it off to Ethan Flynn. Flynn coming forward, facing Laura Dillon. Dillon puts her under pressure, and it's an air Finnan line ball. Dillon gives it off to Samantha Lambert. Lambert being held up by Ava Kirsten Malai. Ran out for a line ball. Samantha Lambert looking for runners. Ball is given into the centre to Ethel Shotnessy, on to Clara O'Brien. O'Brien kicks, but it goes off the side of her boot. And Cathy Ryan trying to keep it in, but the ball is run wide. Megan Tynan is set to kick out. Neve Roach coming forward, gives it off to Emma Gleeson. Gleeson on to Kate Flannery. Flannery has room here now. It's been chased down by Lauren Nagel. Manages to avoid the tackle, gives it off to Emma McCarthy. McCarthy down towards Eda Carroll, but it's gone inside. And Sarah English coming out with it. Kira Nagel. Nagel still coming forward. And she's running there in front of her. And she's still going. Gives it off to Laura Dillon. Dillon looks to go on the run, but she's been bottomed up. She wins the three. Gives a quick insight to Clara English. English bearing down the goal. She goes for goal, and it's just goes over the bar. Clara English is set in front. She could have easily ended up in the top corner. Tynan takes the kick out over to Ava Gerson Malai. Malai avoids the tackle and Eve Boyle gives it in to Kate Flannery. Flannery still going forward, putting it down into the corner. Foot in there from Ava Lambert and Samantha Lambert has it. Lambert gives it off to Clara Ingles. And to Neve O'Farrell. O'Farrell still going forward. She was fouled by Yelva Gerson Malay with the three in. Samantha Lambert gives it off to Laura Dillon, back to Lambert. Lambert left it behind her and coming forward with Ian McCarthy. Off to Kate Flannery. McCarthy has it back again. Facing Kira Nagel, gives it back here to Roshi Fanan. Fanan gives it off to Ian McCarthy. McCarthy gives a good ball into Alison Lonergan. Lonergan kick in and Lonergan it's clipped the upright and it's gone wide. It's sixth wide for Delphi Rovers. And Marie Jones is going to take the kick out. Delphi are closing it down, the option. And Caitlin Otherware gets it off to 
Eamon McCarthy, McCarthy puts it down into the corner to Rush and Fanan. Fanan gives it back to Ava Gerson Malay. Good ball over this side and it's Fiona Tuhi taking on Eamon O'Connor. Tuhi kicks, but that's gone wide. Kick out taken there to Claire English. English coming forward onto Neva Farrell. Farrell giving it over to Clara O'Brien, but Eamon Glittison is there and there was a clash. Two players took a knock there. Clara O'Brien is still in the ground, Eamon Gleason is up. She's been in the wars today. Quiva Multahi is coming on the our spinning team. She'll be wearing number 20. Looks like Clara O'Brien won't be able to continue. You're walking away from it. Cleveland Montaigne is on. Oh. Every kiss in the lane is hit the free. It's going low. Another three, Kate and another way and winning it. Action! Yeah, but guess Malay gives it off to Kate and another way. Guess Malay has it back again. She's coming forward. Gives it off there to Alison Leonard. Oh, good play. Off to either Carr, but Carr snatched that. He's wide counts are adding up for Kathy Rovers. Kick out taken quickly to Claire English. English coming forward. She takes on Ethan Flynn, manages to get round her. Flynn is doing her best to get back, but a good ball put in towards Ethan O'Sartnessy. Ball ends up on the ground, hand in by Megan Heffernan. To have it, Laura Dillon. Dillon trying to barge her way through, but it's a free out. Ethan Flynn has been phenomenal at the wing back. For Gantry Rovers. Seen it win these performances all year long. Three is taken out to Megan Heffernan. Heffernan taking on Laura Dillon. She's still going. Under pressure from Tara English. English got the hand in, but Heffernan still has it. Gives it off to Ida Carroll, coming deep from her corner forward position. Gives it off there to Katie Quirk. Quirk goes down the corner towards Alison Lannerton. Lonergan gives it inside to Roshi Fanan. Fanan across the middle and it's Fiona Tuti. Back to Eamon McCarthy. Eva Carroll gives it inside and it's Fiona Tuti. Carroll has it back, she's trying to make an angle, gives it on. To, oh, there's a chance for Alison Lonergan. Oh, super block down. By Sarah English. Emer O'Connor gives it back to English. And there's a chance of a counter attack. Sarah English still coming forward. Give it in to Clara and her sister. Going down into the corner. 
Chatty Rain trying to get it up. Rain has been fouled and Rain has the free. Give it a ding there to Marty for a shot and see. A shot and see still has it. Gives it off to Laura Dillon. Dillon will look to go on a run. Dillon with the hand down, but it was hand in from Ruth Rowan and the referee's given the free. And Dillon goes low. It's off the crossbar. And Megan Tynan gets the clearance in. Tynan got a fingertip to that. And the ball has come wide from Catty Ryan. And what an effort from Laura Dillon. And a super save from Megan Tynan. Tossed it onto the crossbar. Keep taking out to Ethan Tynan. Off here. Katie Fork. She has space. Samantha Lambert trying to chase her down. She manages to give it off there to Kate Flannery. Flannery is fouled. And Lee Foyle is on the ground for uh, Finnan. Referee Mike Duffy just making sure she's okay. Barbara Highland in there just checking on her well being. She should be okay. Ida Carroll tests the free. Puts it in there to Fiona Tuti. And Tuti was being held back. And there's another free here. Ida Carroll will take this one. Carol kicking and she's going to swing that one inside the post and it's gone straight over the black spot. Lita Carroll with her first free and she's going to score one two. Kick taken there to Emo O'Connor. On to Sarah English. English giving an end towards Clara English. Ball is along the ground. Knocks it forward, but Katie Quirk is there to pick it up. Gives it off to Eamon McCarthy. Gives it into the centre to Kate Flannery. Flannery onto Ava Gase Malloy. Oh, and Rosha Fernand had been a great run. There's a chance for Alison Lonergan. Lonergan tried to find Ida Karen. Ball ended up on the ground. Karen managed to retrieve it. And Rosha Fernand trying to come forward. Ends up on the ground, and it's a free in. Chance here now to put three clear goals between the sides. Carroll kicks. Carroll puts it over. Jones takes the kick short to Emer O'Connor. O'Connor has it back. And it's Kira Nagel coming forward. Nagel gets it down towards Neve Boyle. A good ball on to Clara English. English has been fouled. He manages to give it back to Samantha Lambert. The referee still has the arm up. On to Laura Dillon. Samantha Lambert putting it in towards Ethan Shotnessy. Uh, Shotnessy, she's getting inside Root Rowan and Rowan holding it for back. Old ball is on the ground. And it's a free in. And Laura Dillon is going to take it. There's a substitution coming on for Gelfi Rovers. Sarah Finan. Dillon goes low, and it's blocked on the ground. That's a free out. Now Dillon tried to pitch the defence out, and Sarah Fanan is on for Galtier Rovers, winner number 17 in place of Alison Lonergan. 
Lonergan, who scored 1 1 today. Fanan only back from injury. We're going to see her back in the field of play. The referee is going to talk to Ike Shotnessy, and it's a yellow card. The referee is insinuating that she swung on the ground as one of the Ganty players went to face it up after that shot from Laura Dillon. Second player for Anselm has been filmed in today. And I'm coming to Ill for this midway through the second half. Katie Fork is back in her feet. Megan Payne will take the three. Gives a shot to Ruth Ronan. Neve Ross is throwing. Kick into the middle, but Laura Neve is going to intercept this one. Gives it on to, towards Laura Dillon. Dillon, she's fair down on goal. Dillon goes low. Dillon buries it. Laura Dillon. From an interception by Laura Nail to give it on to Dillon and bang back of the net and it's, it's a six point game and just like with the same Dillon in the first half, our Finnan strike back straight away. Laura Nagel gives it on to Clara English. Our Finnan need to build on this now. Dillon taking on Megan Heffernan. She has the 3 1. Dillon is on the ground. Um, just look back at that goal chance a few minutes ago from Laura Dillon and the super save from Megan Payne. And it could only be one kick of the game in it if, if that had to go over. But Dillon puts this one over the bar. And it's a five point game all of a shot. Maybe Payne and post the kick, saw it this time. Root Rowland coming forward, gives it off to Neve Roach in the centre. Roach has hurried this one, Ethan Flynn is loose on this side of the field. Flynn going down into the corner, but it's Sarah English to stare. And English comes forward, gives it back there to Kira Nagel. Into the centre, but Caitlin O'Dwyer is onto it. She, she was fouled by Ivan Clancy, I suppose. Clancy had no choice but to hold her up there. Either Carroll gives it back to here to Aoife Flynn. Flynn has it back. Facing Clara English, looking for options now. Fine team in McCarthy. Back here now with Roshi Fanan. Fanan has it back again. A good ball on to Kay Flannery. Flannery taking on Kira Nagel. And Roshi Fanan is going inside. She's held up. But then she gets the ball up. The ball is in the net. It's in against the Malai. And it's another goal. And Aaron Finnan. A sucker punch there. Galti hit back after the concession of 1 1, and now they're in again. Sarah Fanan. Fanan going through on to Eamon McCarthy. This to seal it. McCarthy buries it. Eamon McCarthy. That is a sixth goal, and we're going to pause for the water break. But it's a super goal. It's intercepted by. Sarah Fanan on to Eamon McCarthy and Eamon McCarthy put it in and it's 
two goals in the space of 20 seconds and it's 6 7 to 2 8. Onto, onto the field there. Um, it's been in corner for one that big push to try and get back into this game. Back underway, Emily Jones giving it out here towards and Rossi Fernandez intercepted this, and this could be another one. Oh, even McCarthy couldn't take it. She still has it though. Gives it off inside. Rossi Fernandez has a penalty, and Yvonne Clancy will put it in, and Art Finnan are falling asunder. And this could be another yellow card. Oh, he seems to have only ticked it. Art Finnan, the architect for their own downfall here. Three balls intercepted, and this is a chance of the third goal in as many minutes. And considering it was a five point game only a couple of minutes ago, and it was super pressure from Galtier, it must be said. And Eamon McCarthy has a chance here now. McCarthy versus Emery Jones. McCarthy, oh, she puts it into the bottom corner, and it's a seventh goal. And it's Eamon McCarthy's second. There's a couple of substitutions coming on for for Aaron Finnan, Molly Purcell, and Alice Tobin are coming on the field. Boyle is one of the players that's gone off. And Yvonne Clancy is the other. Oh, well, this is another chance here. Sarah Fanan. And Fanan has got another one. And Galti are really putting a knife in at this stage. Either car or no, Galti fighting for everything. Roshi Fanan giving it over the far side. Carol has it again. Back to Kate Flannery. Ava Grayson Malai. They're all looking to get in the act at this stage. And Sarah Fanan again. 
on Teva Gaysen Malai. Clan Kelty players are lining up and it's Kate Flannery off the outside of the post and it's gone wide. Emo Connor coming forward. Oh no, she's dispossessed again but by Fiona Tui, but Tui fouled her. Kick is taken over to Cueva Mulcahy. Mulcahy gives it off there to Molly Person. Into the centre to Kira Nagy. On to Clara English and Laura Nagy comes forward. Nagy gives it on to Clara English again. English onto Laura Dillon. Dillon been held up, gives it off to Clara English again. And it's great flat down. Great flat down by Katie Quirk, but all the three boundaries. It's a free in. Dylan is drilling this one over the bar. Laura Dillon has scored one four today, but it looks like it's going to be all in vain. There's another substitution coming on for our women. Yvonne Keaton is coming on. Kathy Ryan, the one that comes off. Kathy Ryan has played well for our Finland. Ian McCarthy gives it off to Eva Grace from the line, off to Aoife Flynn again. Down to Sarah Fanan. Fanan taking on Sarah English. And she's going in along the end line. English still putting on the pressure. And ball has gone for 45. Sarah Fanan, she's only been on seven or eight minutes, but she's causing havoc inside. Ipo shocking to back on the Art Finland team, who was out for 10 minutes in the bin. Kick goes short to Eva Gess and Malai. Forward, ball breaks loose, and Samantha Lambert coming out with Lambert still carrying it. Gives it off there to Kira Nagel. Nagel takes on Neve Roach. She's still going. Gives it on to Laura Dillon. Dillon's been fattened up. Ball comes back to Kira Nagel. Nagel out. Good block down by Eddie Carroll, but the referee was playing an advantage. Uh, it just goes to show, Gantry are chasing everything down, even at this late stage. And they're not letting their feeling in for any soft score. She's looking for options, going short to Samantha Lambert. Dylan has it again. Dylan, she's been tried back by Roshi Fanan. Um, referee has sin been Roshi Fanan. And um, Gantier is going to end this with 14. Dylan, oh, it's another third there. It's Katie Kirk, I think, on the line. She got the hand to it and deflected it out. Careful, careful wife were not alert to Laura Dillon in the semi-final, but obviously Gantry's seen what Laura Dillon is capable of. And any three within 30 yards that tears back in the lane, they're not letting her have that opportunity that she had in the semi-final to stick the ball in the top corner. Samantha Lambert goes low to Cuisin Lambert has it back. Lambert's been held up. 
gives it back to Cleveland Carter, on to Laura Dillon, Dillon tries to put the head down, gives it back to Samantha Lambert though. Lambert left footed, and that ball drops over the bar, it's Samantha Lambert's second score. And it's 8, 7 to 3, 10 in favour of Delphi Rovers. Kick taken out to Neve Roach, and not Neve Roach, Ronan. Off there to Caitlin at the wire, and Katie Quirk, and Ava Grace in the line, and to Edith Carroll. Carroll gives it back to Ava Grace in the line, into the centre to Eamon McCarthy. Ball is back here with Eamon Gleason. Over against the Malay and Eamon McCarthy. McCarthy down to Sarah Fanan. And Fanan on to Neve Roach. Fanan again and Neve Roach coming forward, looking to get in on the act at this stage. And Caitlin with the wire. And Roach has continued to run. And Roach is dragged down and it's going to be another penalty. It has to be a penalty. Referee just going into his umpires to double check. <laughs> looks like he's only given a free in. It looks like a penalty from here, but we'll trust Mike Duffy's decision making and Sarah Fernand puts it over the bar. Gantley Rovers are looking to empty the bench now at this stage. There are a couple of players there ready to come in. <laughs> Edwin Jason Malay is coming on there. It's for the Fiona Tootie. Kick out taking short there to Emer O'Connor. There's left to Samantha Lambert. Lambert on to Neve O'Farrell. O'Farrell taking on Sarah Fanan. Managed to get it off there to Claire Rangers. Back to O'Farrell. Claire English on towards Laura Nagel. Nagel took it well. English continued to run. Taking on Katie Burke. Ball is blocked. And it's Caitlin with the wireless back there. And Laura Dillon has it back to her spinning. She's been held up. Gives it off to Cleveland McCarty. McCarty kicking with the left foot, but that's going to go across the face of the goal. And it's dribbles wide. It's only our spinning's fifth wide. Kick taken short to Caitlin with the wire. It seems to be all over the place at this point, but she's lost possession and Laura Dillon threw. Oh, great save by Megan Tynan. And Megan Tynan makes a super save. And Kathy come forward with Kate Flannery onto Katie Quirk. Back to Flannery. Flannery and Neve Roach has made a huge run from the corner back position again. She's, if she's spotted. Eamon McCarthy has been fouled on the far side of the field. <laughs> Every guess in the line now, the centre of the field, giving it across here towards Neve Roach. Roach facing Sarah English, goes low to Ethan Flynn. Flynn taking out Yvonne Keaton, which is fouled. And there's another substitution coming on here for, there's a couple of substitutions coming on. It looks like Saliano Dwyer is coming on. 
for Caitlin O'Dwyer. Caitlin O'Dwyer, she's only an under 16 player, but she's been absolutely brilliant. And it just shows the faith that Paul Creed and his backroom team have to bring somebody like her in. Kick comes down to Sarah Fanan again. Fanan goes down towards Sarah English, intercepting it. Emer O'Connor. O'Connor coming forward and she's fouled. Set off quickly to Laura Nathan. Arfin and still battling to the very end. She takes on Ava Gates in the line. And to Sarah English. Quiver Mulcahy. Mulcahy, low to the left field player. Goes low. Ah, not a super save by Megan Tynan. Ah, Tynan has been brilliant. And she gets the clearance in, not only makes the save, but gets the clearance over the far side. It's going to go out for a line ball. Megan Tynan, this game could be an awful lot closer if it wasn't for she Not four, if not five, super saves. Cara English comes back with another. And once again, Tynan does it. Oh, she's locked down. Ball is going to go away wide, but Megan Tynan has locked scorekeeping. And it's all over. It's all over here in Latin. And Garty Rovers have won out. They're the 2021 Tipperary Valley Football Intermediate Champions. They've won out and they scored 8 8, 2 10. They laid the foundations early in the match with three early goals. But they got a fourth one then. But then. Either side of the water break, they scored three goals in three minutes. It's really fit to seal on it. And the full time score here is Galtier Rovers 8 8, Art Finnan 2 10. Uh, we'll be. We'll, we'll have the presentation coming up here in a couple of minutes, so make sure to stay with us.
Well done, Didi. Okay. Okay, lads, uh, just before I present the trophy, I just want to make a few thank yous. First of all, to Latin uh, for the pitch here today uh, in spectacular order uh, for the month of November. Um, and to our fixtures committee and our executive committee for the work that they put in behind the scenes um, to make a day like today and a weekend like this uh, possible. Um, I think, to be fair, the game out there was a fair reflection of where Tipperary Ladies football is at the moment. Um, intermediate final uh, and as good a football as you'll see in, in, in a long day. Um, to Art Finnan, girls, hard luck. Um, today wasn't your day. Uh, you did what Galtys did last year. You came up from Junior A and uh, came all the way to the intermediate final. That's an achievement in itself. I know a, a, a proud club like yourselves, that wouldn't be enough for you. Um, so I know that you'll go back and you'll learn from today and you'll come back and you'll be stronger again for next year again. And uh, uh, we wish you the best of luck with that. <laughs> to Galtier Rovers, uh, this time last year, guys, sorry. <clears throat> Uh, you've had the heartbreak of losing a, a final by one point, and I know how much that hurt you. So, without further ado, I'd like to present the trophy to Edith Carroll on behalf of Galtier Rovers. <laughs> Off you go. Down for the whole game through, 
And I think it, for anybody watching, it was really obvious to see that that's the way that we played today. We played from the very first, when the ball was thrown in, from the very first whistle to the very last whistle. And my God, we're going to enjoy it tonight. <laughs> So that's it, got the Rovers are the champions, and so no doubt the celebration is going on long into the night. Uh, thanks to Gleeson Concrete for uh, Excitement. being with, his, with this production, and don't forget the senior final is coming up shortly. It's Arlo and Brian Bruce, both teams are out the field at the minute, so make sure to stay with us for that. <laughs> 